Okay, here we have our uh, really rare 1997 Ford F-250 uh, HD crew cab short bed. Now they only made these trucks from uh, 1996 and 1997, so it makes these trucks really hard to find. This one's got about 165,000 on it. Always a Northwest truck. As you can tell, the paint reflects almost everything. You can see my reflection really good in there. Um, it's all original paint body, no rust, no accidents, uh, no repaints of any kind. It's a beautiful truck with the emerald green finish and then the white on the bottom, which is nice to have the white on the bottom because it'll hide any rock chips and everything like that. We'll get in close here. You can see it does have, you know, a little bit of rock chips here, but amazingly on the hood, it doesn't have any um, on the front face. You do have a little bit, you know, you'll get stuff like that. Um, you can see in the pictures I also have in there, you can see the reflection. I put the manual up to the paint and you can see it perfectly. Uh, both sides, between the pinstriping and the molding, you'll see if you get really close on some of the body panels, you have kind of this, you know, kind of almost checkering um, in the paint that you can kind of see. Um, I just put a fresh coat of wax on it so the wax is in there a little bit so you can see it a little bit more now, which is kind of to your guys' advantage. But once you wash it, it'll wash out of those a little bit and then you really can't see them. Uh, no real dents on the body. It does have a slight little crease here. It looks like something got in the molding and pushed the body a little bit. And I'm sure if you got behind there with a 2x4 or something, you could pop that out because there is no paint marks or damage on that. Both sides uh, does have a where the molding has rode away the paint a little bit. And it's not rusted or, you know, rusted through anything. It's just the paint chipped off, so then it was bare metal. And uh, it rusted a little bit there, but you could scuff that up and repaint it white, no problem. And again, you'll see the checkering there. The tailgate has your usual wear and tear. Little scrapes on the top of it. Uh, these are always cheap to get repainted if you want to. 1997 is the only year that doesn't have the aluminum panel on the back. It's got a little scrape there. It's got the full XLT chrome package. And then you got a little ding. It's got the Alcoa wheels and it's got a leveling kit on it, so it has a little larger 285, 75, 15 tires. And uh, they're E rated, so they're ready to go for any hauling needs. And uh, I have the feeling that this may have had some running boards on it at one time, full length ones, because of this area here you'll see in the pictures. Uh, just the paint's rubbed away, there's no rusting of the cab corner, but they always mount up right here and then they work away the paint, um, which is one reason why I absolutely hate those. Uh, you got the spray in bed liner, the rear slider, and you can see just above by the cab light there's a little dent in the body. But really, this is just a gorgeous truck. It's got the light gray interior. The split bench, and this is a, it's got the cup holders, which is nice, and it's got the little cargo area. The front, the dash is in good shape, but the vinyl piece right here, which is very common, has some hairline cracks in it, and this is replaceable. You just pull out the CD player, and there's a couple of bolts in there, and then through the glove box, you can access that, so you can swap it out. But on the actual dash itself, the plastic, uh, there is no damage. Uh, it's got your trailer brake controller. Um, it's got the light gray interior, so it's really hard to capture, but there is some darkening areas just from people probably spilling, um, you know, coffee or cola along the way. All the door panels are nice shape. All the switches work. Uh, power windows on all four corners, power door locks, AC, all that good stuff. And then back here, it's got the uh, full bench seat, which is nice about the crew cabs is they come with cup holders. You know, these 92 to 97 F250s, F150s and stuff are just prone not to have cup holders and so they get stained in. And this has the same thing. And this truck hasn't been detailed, it's just been vacuumed. Um, and I put a coat of hand wax on it. We've put a ton of money into it uh, to make sure it's driver ready. Um, all new brakes, uh, the load range G tires, alignment. Um, had some front end components done. It's got a strong running motor with no issues. It does, uh, we'll fire it up here for you. It does have a little bit of exhaust leak up by the manifold um, that really, <laughs> when you're driving, you know, you can even see in here, it's in great shape. Nice, clean rockers. Um, good looking seats. Uh, they do have, it does not smell like a smoker, so I don't know what this would be from. Um, the ashtray doesn't look like it's over been overused. But there's a couple little marks here, you know, I want to be honest with you so you see everything. And then if you look close, there's some wearing here, that's typical. But you can see it's not all tore up or anything like that, but it is worn. Um, 
that door chimes probably driving you guys nuts but yeah like I was mentioning before um, and it does have the nice smaller sport mirrors which is power both sides which is a great option to have instead of having those big cliffhanger mirrors and uh, get this going here for you it's a little difficult to pop the hood and open it up when you run the camera so I apologize for that uh, but you can kind of hear there is no knocking there's no ticking in the motor no hesitation it pulls like a freight train but it has a very faint exhaust leak you know so I want to be honest with you guys you know underneath the hood looks nice you know once the truck overheats or blows a radiator hose it's just kind of brown all over and you can never get rid of it uh, the belts good you know everything uh, fresh oil change so that's our 97 uh, F-250 crew cab short bed. Now this is going to be no reserve and we do another auction of it driving once it's up and uh, warmed up. We'll take her out on the freeway. So uh, please ask any questions and uh, this is a no reserve Northwest truck. So no rust. Good luck everybody.